Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Last Christmas. Uh, this is the Taylor Swift version of, um, of the song by uh, Wham or George Michael or something like that. I didn't do that one. I didn't do the original. I, I went with the Taylor Swift version. It's much easier. Um, Alright, I need a capo. Uh, you don't have to have a capo, but it helps. Put you in the key that she's in. Alright, I'm going to do it two different ways, capo in two different places. So if you're looking for a really easy one, that's coming up in about a minute from now. All right. So I'm going to try it at the capo three first, okay? So what I need from the song is a D chord. Uh, she's in the key of F, so that's why we have the capo at the third fret. So we're going to do a D shape, uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret, and that's in relationship to the capo. I'm going to mute that sixth string, okay? So it's it's a it's her version's great because it just does four chords and they repeat the entire song. So it's really simple to, to, to remember. Uh, you're gonna need a B minor. Um, so that's why this this is not quite as easy as the one I'm gonna show you in a minute. So you bar the whole second fret, top five strings anyway. I don't really play the sixth string on this one. And then second string, uh, one, two, three, third fret, and then the four and three strings at the fourth fret. That's my B minor chord. Then an E minor chord, 5th string, 4th string, 2nd fret, everybody's open, everybody else is open. Then I need an A chord. I'm just going to take these two fingers, I'm going to move over 4th uh, string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, and then the pinky on the 2nd string, 2nd fret. Uh, I do it so I can fit my fingers in there. You can do it 1, 2, and 3 also though. I need the 5th string, 6th uh, string on that one. Okay? So, uh... That's it for chords, which is great. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do my wagon wheel strum, my generic strum, the down, down, up, up, down, down, up, okay? You do that twice on each chord. So it's a D to the B minor to the E minor to the A chord. That's it. It repeats the whole song just like that. Uh, you could vary your strum instead of down, down, up, up, down, up. You could just do down ups if it, if it's a beginning your teacher teaching or something like that, or if you're the beginner, uh, just a down up uh, like. I personally don't dig this one, but it's simple. Instead of doing down up the whole time, I'm going to kind of accent the first beat of each uh, pattern. So down, 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 down. I like this one much better. Okay. But anything will do really. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to try uh, Last Christmas with the capo at the fifth fret. Okay. This makes it even more simple than it is, than it really was. So now we're going to do a C shape, which is the fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Mute that sixth string. I'm doing a C chord followed by an A minor, which means I'm just going to pick up that third finger and tuck it underneath on the third string, second fret. Muting that sixth string the whole time. Then I'm going to go to a D minor, first string, first fret, third, uh, third string, second fret. 2nd string, 3rd fret, definitely mute the 6th string on that one. Uh, and then I need a G chord, 6th uh, string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, and 1st string at the 3rd fret. That's my G chord. And that's all you really need. This is the simplest way to play this song. Um, uh, you got, you could do any pattern you want, the wagon wheel strum or, or one of the others. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll play it and you can figure it out. So C chord for 2.
Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and please subscribe.